We're in San Juan County where we've been managing for American kestrels out in the upland field and we've been doing work in the wet meadows for bog turtles. This was a property that was purchased because there are bog turtles on it. Folks from Audubon uh, came out and surveyed in 2013 and found a new turtle and since then we've been out here doing more active management. Audubon's had a, a work agreement here since 2018, so they have a 10-year plan here to do restoration work for habitat management, for conservation easements, and just basically to connect the known populations through this watershed. Audubon got a grant to do a new tracking project where they get digital transmitters that are supposed to work for two years, and there's these nodes placed throughout the, the uplands and the wetlands. Very similar to VHF transmitters, but they're digital tags. The idea behind it is that you can triangulate the points where you're finding those pings based on how close they are to each of the nodes and how you, know, you can triangulate them, very similar to the way GPS technology works. Bog turtles are a federally listed species. They're you know, one of the rarest turtles in North America. Uh, New Jersey has a pretty big responsibility for their population because we sit in between a lot of other states in the Northeast where they occur. They're only about the size of the palm of your hand. They're really dark, very cryptic. So the detectability of them is really hard, but they're also a low density species, pretty solitary and spend most of their time in the ground. Agriculture, certain uses have impacted bog turtles in you know either from the uplands succeeding into the wetlands or just because wetlands have been filled in for agricultural practices but in other areas where they're grazed that is actually a practice that has kept the, the meadows open for bog turtles so we work with landowners down here that have cattle operations or sheep and we work to rotate the grazing throughout that it keeps the trees that want to come through here and succeed back into it you'll get a lot of gum and maple and early wetland species trees that would fill this in. Bog turtles over time, they would be able to move off down the, the waterways and find the next open emergent habitat or, you know, some they're a long-lived species. Some of them would stay put and wait for flooding or, or fire or something to open the habitat back up again. But as we've fragmented these sites, we've kind of created these populations that are not as connected on that bigger like meta population level. They're, they're really disjunct from each other. So as part of our change effort, as part of this RCPP project, we're trying to restore connectivity through areas where we know we have good populations.